Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Brett, the Oregon Stacker. Where the heck you at, Plumber Stacker? We're all waiting for the plumber, man. What the heck's going on out there? Where's the plumber at? <laughs> okay, so um, Jeff Davis, I'll show you. I'll show you what I got for George Campbell while we're waiting for the plumber. This right here. I have been fighting, trying to find this thing. Turn my other light on over here. You guys wouldn't believe how hard these are to find. I found this for George Campbell. I know Big Apple still needs one. Jeff, if you need one, let me know. And as I find them, I'll hook you guys up. But I got George Campbell taken care of to tonight. Forrest, if you're out there, I was asking if you're still in German coins. I was going to offer you a deal on a whole German lot here of German coins I have for the whole pile. Yeah, that bill is very hard to get. It's actually already sold, you guys. Sold it to uh, Mr. George Campbell. If you see him out there, congratulate him. I already uh, sold it to him. I knew he was looking for it. Fucking go it. Uh, got a few of these. Um, I got a whole German lot. Let me show it to you. I wish you would have blown me up. I've got a 19, uh, well, I don't know if I can show this on YouTube, actually, but you'll know what it is. 1944 German 5 Reich Mark. I got a German 2 Deutsche Mark 1951. German 1928 D 50 Reich. Uh... 1948 German 2 Fenning. I'm just going to give you a deal on the whole pile. This is a German pre-Russia 1857. So dark. 1857 German. Well, that goes back a ways. Here's a 5 Fenning from 1916. Here's a 25 Fenning from 1911. These are all German. Here's the back of it for us. Uh, German Lip de Mold. These are all from the LC, man. So I don't know. This is 1847. This is a 200 mark. This is a, a lesser expensive one, but still German. 1923. Put it in the pile. Oh, he blew me up. We've got, I don't know if I should show this one, 1943 German. You know it's on the front of it. So it's got what you know on the front. Here's a 53 Germany. Hellier. And this one I can't show. You'll know what's on the front of it. It's from 1939. It's got the symbol. It's got the symbol on it. So you'll know what that means. Five rights mark. So... Forest, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve here. Uh, I'll just go over some price points they had. Twelve, twenty-eight, seven, five, five, fifteen, eighteen, three, twelve, fifteen, thirty-five, and thirty-two. At ten dollars a piece, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80, 90, 110, 120 at ten dollars a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve. I don't know. What do you think? Ninety bucks for the whole lot. Is that good for German for you, Forrest? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve of them there. Uh, I just know Forrest collects them. Tracy, it's his thing. Okay. Yeah, and Forrest, a couple of those I can't show on YouTube because you know why. So I figured I'd hook you up on that. It's been a, it's been a long time, Tracy, since I've been able to hook up Forrest, and I know he likes German. So I've kind of been setting those back until I was able to do that for him. So it's kind of like a Forrest special if you wanted it. Yeah, that's what he likes to collect. 
Tracy, I think you like kookaburras on a different note. For you, Tracy, do you need a 2006 kookaburra? Because I think I have a 2006 over here I can go get if you need it. I could give you a really good price on it to make you happy if you need it. I think you like kookaburras. You may not need it. You may already have it. I know it's a harder date. They are a little spendy, but just let me know if you need a 2000 kook. I love if you need it. I, I need a four. Oh, man. Okay. I don't have a 2004. I do have a 2006 over here. That'll be yours, Forrest. I don't think you can beat that, Forrest. I mean, German coins for what? what? What would that end up being? You got, I think I said 12 in there. Shoot, man, you can't beat that. Some of them are, some of them are very hard to get. So, congratulations, Forrest. You wiped me out. That was all the German coins I had. You took every single one I had. Gift kicker, what is going on? You guys, I have, you know what I'll do real quick? Let me set that over here for Forrest. Tag that. Someone else may want this. You guys, I went to my coin shop today. It was in there for a while. And I'm like, do you have anything like a beat up CC? So we want to thank Mike from Rogue Valley Coin. He's the owner. I'm like, dude, I want to beat up Carson City. So this was an 1890 circulated CC. I could do this for 65 bucks for someone if they want an inexpensive Carson City. It is circulated. Uh, but hey, you can brag you got a Carson City on the low for 65 bucks. If anyone wants to bend that for 65 on a Carson City, let me know. Circulated Carson City. It's the only one they had that was, you know, in in a condition where I can give someone a fire deal. 65 bucks if someone wants that on the 1890cc. John, John, should we do you want what me to up? Auction, you want you want me to auction something while waiting for you or what you want me to do? Oh, go ahead if you want, yeah. 1890, 1890. <laughs> um, let's do a buck and go. Dude, I'm going to do something crazy. We got this really nice. Let's start with the Morgan. I know you love your Morgan's plumber. It came prepared. 1890 AU 55. Look at this baby on the back. Full details. Beautiful cartwheel. Let's do a buck and go on that, John. Let's do a buck and go on that. Yeah, he's got a little bit of an echo uh, deep stack. I do. I think so, yeah. What about now? Uh, I'll have to ask the chat. Any echo now? Really nice details on this Morgan Dollar. We got the table ready to go. What's up, Phony Bitter? What's up, Red Silver, Deep Stacker, Jeff Davis, Mark B. Forrest, Tracy, DK, JJ's in the house, Shift Kicker. What's up, Brock? Brock, I have a package here for you still that we need to uh, figure out. Could you send me an email, please? From the coin shop, you guys. From the coin shop. It was so funny. I went to my LC today. Him and his son, they're like, dude, we haven't seen you for like two Did weeks. You? We're getting worried about you because I'm always <laughs> in there. I'm like, man, I have just been honestly, guys, so busy. Did you buy them out? Oh, dude, I, I got a ton of stuff in there. They always love me. I try and put me to work in there when I go in there, man. Whoa, Deep Stackers at $450. Nah, you meant $45. I think. This is beautiful, Morgan, you guys. Beautiful Morgan. As you, I hope my camera's doing it just. It's got really nice details on it. Got a beautiful cartwheel. If you're into Morgans, I I, I brought some home with me. You be, be you want to be paying attention tonight. Even some smoking deals on some slabs. I don't know what plumber has planned, but we got you covered tonight. Oh man, my hands are not used to holding up coins like this. Woo! I got a Rhea. <laughs> These are the new magnets of Monkey uh, King Meadows in the house. I'll tell you guys if you need magnets, Nancy T 20, what was it? It was 20. Oh, how many did she do? 50 magnets? I don't want to misquote her. 25 bucks, I think it was for 50 magnets, is what she is charging. I mean, I don't know how you can beat that deal. So, Ghost Nancy T, you guys. 
if you need if you want some big cool magnets like this What's up, shout Steve? out shout out to big apple stacker and steve looking for silver for for making these uh, magnets and gifting these to me very kind of them pretty cool huh plumber we just need to make uh, one with plumber stacker on it now what they're thinking on that <laughs> we hey, gotta get that, you man. yeah okay all right, here we go. Where are we at? We are at forty dollars. I don't know if she did the design because these guys gifted them to me, Spokane. So I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure because Big Apple and Steve uh, gifted these to me. Actually, all right. Good luck, everybody. Forty bucks to Deep Stacker. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Tracy, Jeff Davis, you guys both have wallets over here, too. We are sold. Jeffrey Jackson's in the house. Dude, who got Wait. that? How'd that was that funny. Up? Who the hell got that? Uh, let me can't bring even it up. Tell. They got so many bids around that soul. Lots of snipage going on. Yeah. Uh, Catfish, good to see you, my man. He's, he's almost got a nice piece of gold from me. What the heck? Should have that on Monday, Catfish. That was a beautiful Morgan right there. Man, we were talking about the silver and gold prices in the LC today, you guys. It's crazy. Like, these guys have no clue what's going to happen. Spokane, 10-month plumber helper. Smash the like all. Thank you, Spokane. Let's see. Boney. We got the uh, 42 to Boney. Boney better got that. Yep. My man, Phony. Mustang Dave, what's going on? Congratulations, Phony Better and Forrest. Nice pickups to both of you. Go ahead, Plumber. All right. I do have a 2006 Cuke. I just got to go get it if you need it, Jax. Heck yeah. All right, we got a 2021 American Silver Eagle. We'll start at $25. This is a Type 2. What's up, Jags fan? And Jeffrey Jackson, here you go, buddy. Well, not that one. That one's ugly. So here's my uh, recent pours. That one's probably going to go back in the melter. I'm horrible at these for some reason. I got really good, and now I'm terrible. But one of these are on the way to you, Jeffrey. Then I got one for Adam. That one's not that great either. But I've been working on it. We'll get them going again. That's awesome. I got my plumber. I got my plumber uh, hammer and wrench right here. There you go. Oh, yeah. 1,000 yeah. friendlies. Sitting right here on my desk. Boom. I'm back at it, Spokane. I tried a plunger. It just did not work out very well at all. <laughs> it was terrible. I was telling the chat when you were gone, man, like, owning a foster home, the worst thing that can happen to you is when a resident comes downstairs and says, Mr. Dewey, I'm so sorry. I've plugged the toilet. <laughs> it's like, got to get the garage glove up. Get the snake because you know you're going in for battle, baby. What's up, Jet Mac? <laughs> I know, right? Bring the plunger. I don't even get, bring the plunger, dude. I don't even screw with that. I just go right to my snake. It works every time. Have I just a good go night, get Jeff. my snake. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Link. Yeah, that was pretty funny, though, Link. I don't know why it was funny, but it just was. The, <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> I should do one, but I don't have. The only thing I have to mold it with is this. And this has been work? sitting in the septic tank here for a while and it's got some nice toning on it start to tone real good maybe i'll get somebody to 3d print me one <laughs> i do actually i have a piece dollar that i can put up there a phony what i'm looking at that cack morgan you got sitting straight back on your desk what the heck is that cack 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 that's a 
84 Carson City, 64 plus. Damn. <laughs> it does, Tracy. Should we buck and go that tonight? Yeah, right. <laughs> $29 for an ASC. Oh, my Lord. With a capsule. Yep, that's an extra dollar right there. Absolutely. Maybe dollar ten with inflation. Dude, it's so funny, you guys. Speaking <laughs> of inflation, did you see where the, the, the dollar the dollar tree is gonna up prices again? Like there was like mad chaos when they upped it to like what was it, one fifty? And now they're going up higher. Yeah. The dollar tree is no more dollar. Some people are making jokes online, they're like, just take the dollar out, just call it the tree. Yeah, or dollar and a half tree. Yeah. We got 32 to Brock. Uh, all in oh shit, I didn't even see Jay. Sorry, Jay. Dude, it's all crazy. Fair warning. Yeah, massive inflation, right, Tracy? 33 to Deep Stacker. Good luck. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Oh man, who's gonna get it? We are sold, folks. Looks like Deep Stacker at thirty-three dollars. Not a bad price at all for a ASC. No, it, I was just talking. I don't know if you heard me or not. When I was at the LC today, everyone was talking. He's so busy. Everyone's talking about gold and silver prices. Of course, that's the talk of the whole coin shop. And like nobody has a clue, dude. What's gonna happen? <laughs> nobody. Like Sun's owners, like yeah, dude, it's crazy. It goes up dollar dollars a day. It could go down a dollar a day. It's yeah. like when do you when do you order? You know, it's a priority. And then like yeah. he freaks out. Like if he doesn't order, what if it like shot up to twenty nine real quick? Right? Like that's how crazy it is right now. Like these guys have no clue, man. It's crazy out there. What? Well, like, it's awesome to see the metals finally going up a little bit. The only thing is, is like the whole rigged and the you know manipulation part it is very true with the metals because they have they buy so much of it and they can just flood the market whenever they want and well the thing with the gold movement i think is more of central bank buying but i don't know man it's yeah that's true that is true yeah. here's the one ounce bar prospector we'll do 25 dollars starting bid like I used to do the stock market all the time, but I'm not really I don't really do much of that anymore. But there was a guy on there saying, like, with silver, for instance, like he's talking like a floor now of 26. And he says like like 29 could be a resistance point, right? But if this silver this year somehow broke out beyond 34, then there's like the sky's the limit, dude. Like that point, uh -huh. like, it's gonna get nuts and crazy, right? So I don't know. Good. I mean, in all reality, it should be over 30. But that just goes to show you how how, how much of a hold they have on it's the metal. How much it's manipulated, yeah. Yeah. We got 25 to Mark B, 26 to Phony, and just one ounce bar. Still Jorge. on your spot. Where he's like, I'll steal this. Let's go. I know, right? He's going to start calling himself under melt. <laughs> That's Mopar's name. I got a funny name somebody could use, man. Call, call themselves Robbery No Crime. You're literally stealing from the streamer and you're committing no crime in the process. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know what? She's slowly healing. There's good days and bad days, Tracy. She's... uh. Definitely chomping at the bit, and I think she overdoes it. Like on the days that, because she's supposed to put gradual pressure on it, and then when she does, she does quite a bit, and then the next day she's she pays for it. But she's healing just very slowly. I feel bad for her because she's a she's an active person, and to see her not being able to do anything, it, it sucks. 26 to phony bitter under spot for this one ounce bar. I'm gonna run it. Good luck, dude. Pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. <laughs> that list. I don't know. 
list somewhere. All right, we are sold, folks. That's awesome, Link. How old's your daughter? My nephew is uh he's 13 and he he doesn't follow the, the spot price or anything, but he absolutely loves gold and silver and diamonds. Go figure. I think Steve LaPointe might have got in there first with 28 just before phony bitter. He did 28. Link, like your daughter's way ahead of the game. I think my oh, I'm, 15, that's awesome. I'm 46, and I think my first piece of silver I bought maybe like five years ago. First piece of gold like eight years ago. So like I wish I could go back and have my time back, but I never can get that back. She's way ahead of the game. Fresh and all of us probably. Twenty-eight dollars. Loki is being a big jerk, Tracy. Don't you wish you could go What's back? Up, Rooster? Like, huh? especially like when you're younger. Don't you wish you could just go back instead of blowing all that money when you're a young kid? Oh just my god. Buy some silver now. You know what's funny too is I got into it when I was about 25. I started. I bought oh, a few, a, a few American Silver Eagles, and then I just stopped for no reason. You know, like out oh, of nowhere. God. And I found them. Uh, yeah. Probably right around the time I started up again, and I was shocked because I still had them. What's up, brother Rat? I have 46, brother Rat. All right, here we go, Oregon. You're up. Oh God. Yeah, uh, do we want to do? I'll give them choice. Oh, let me go to Mother Camera. We'll do choice on a couple 64 Morgans. You guys like slabbage? You want to try slab? You scan in at 150. What would be a crazy starting bid on those? Give them choice. 30 bucks. This will be choice. <laughs> oh, hell, can't do that. Let's do 95 bucks choice on the 64s. What's up, slow Thorpe? I'll let the winning bidder times their bid by two if they want both, but we'll do choice. We'll have winning bidder. We'll have option. On the 1888, it does have some toning starting around it and around the back. Really nice. Mark B, I tell her to do follow the doctor's order all the time, but, you know. Scan in at 150. I'm thinking 95, and you guys will have choice if you oh, want. Oh, no way. Out. John Howe passed away? Oh, yeah. You, I'm sorry. You didn't know that, man? No. I No. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. John Howe, um, he was having a health battle, and he did, uh, unfortunately, oh, didn't wow. end up passing away. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. For, yeah. I've, yeah. Wow. Vote, vote for Pedro has been in contact, I believe, with the family, and he's going to let us know if they need anything. That's the last I heard. Yeah, he did seem like a good guy. I mean, I don't didn't know Absolutely. him all that well, but yeah, he did a lot for Wounded Warriors. In fact, um, I get on the Wounded Warriors because I have folks that have donated, and I go in that spreadsheet and I update it. And you know what's trippy about this, you guys? The first person on the spreadsheet with a donation from Wounded Warriors this year is John Howe. Wow! It's just over a five ounce silver round that he won, and said, "Give it to Wounded Warriors." It's literally the first item on the spreadsheet. That's like, crazy. Yeah, it's like unbelievable. I mean, that was the first thing me and Sassy Susan said. When Sassy called me and told me about it, I'm like, oh, my God. You know, I'm thinking of mm. the family. And then we looked at the spreadsheet and we're just like, I couldn't believe it. Wow. Yeah. Big Apple's in at 95. Big Apple, you can times this by two if you want to clean me out. These are both 64 Morgans out of steel right now. Both scan in for 150. Already graded and everything for you guys. I think that is awesome. Uh, that that must be fun to watch. Jeffrey's in at 100. He knows. Can't beat it on a 64. That's too cool, Link. This is John was only 71. Big Apple's 105. I'd say we just, if we're ready, let run it. Let these two battle it out. They know. Okay. Both of them scan for the same money, guys. 150 is what they scan at. Yeah, oh, that's terrible. I haven't John hasn't been in the you know my chat in a while, but I know he he frequented for a while. Yeah, it's 
I I didn't know it. Um, I've talked to some folks in the community and um, in getting to more know more about John. I guess he's battling with some uh, pretty pretty significant health issues, and uh, that's why a lot of folks were asking for prayers. And uh, yeah, it's. But you know, I told uh, I told uh, who was it? Steve, my good friend Steve, looking for silver. I was really impressed with him and what he did for John and doing donations. And I mean, it's like you plumber when you, uh, you know, when you lost Texas Joe, one of the things you do every uh -huh. time you put that countdown video, you hear Texas Joe, you see Texas Joe and yeah. uh, you're keeping his memory in the coin community name. And that's just awesome. man. that's, you know, any, any one of us, I mean, that's just amazing. Right. Like, so that's the best thing we can do is just remember these guys and, um, yeah, keep them in our memories. Just keep them in our memories. Right. All in fair warning. We're at 105, I believe, the big apple stacker. He's probably chomping right. at the bit right now. Ready to go. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Tracy fires back 115. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, we might have some snipage. snipage. We might have some snipage on that. Uh, we've got Jeffrey Jackson coming in hot. Is there, do you want the 1880s, the 1888, or do you want them both two times the money? Jeffrey, it's totally up to you, my friend. I'll tell you, they both scan for the same 150. If there's a certain date you needed, or you could snag them both two times the money, totally up to you. Can't go wrong. Yeah, that was a nice snipe. Yeah, it was right at the buzzer. 1888. You got it. Should offer that. Should we offer that to Tracy? Should we be nice? <laughs> you're called, you're, called, you're called plumber. Should we offer that to Tracy? Of course. Tracy, did Give you need a discount too? No, we can't do that. It'd still be 120. <laughs> did you want the 1880s, Tracy? Leek, there's got to be a big smile on your face when you see that going on. We'll go to plumber and we'll see. What's up, Tracy Ozzy? Says. 1880s. If you need it, Tracy, pass. Okay, we're good, yeah, Plumber. Man. We're good. We're good. Appreciate you guys. Good battle. All right, I got a 97 Ultra Cameo. We'll start that at 100 bucks. Dude, I'm not even going to charge you shipping, Jeffrey, just because you rock. Just do the 120. We're good. Appreciate you. That's how I operate with you guys. I know For all I you know scanners, you. go ahead and scan that in. That's awesome. Long time Free supporters. Shipping. Long time supporters, people I know. You know, if I don't know you, we haven't done many transactions. It's different. But folks that I know and do business with regularly. What's up, Jenny? Hook them up. 100 bucks. It scans at 140. I'll save you a little bit of time. You're welcome, Jeffrey. Shipping's going up though, you guys. I don't know how long I can do that for. I mean, I don't know if you've seen shipping rates. It's like everything else in this. What's going on? Inflation. Ah, uh, Red Silver said he wants a refund on his shipping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nobody's bidding on it. We're gonna move on. Hundred bucks. It's a very good deal. It scans at one forty. We'll leave it up for ten more seconds. You know, I didn't even realize that Silver, uh, what's up, George Campbell? I didn't even realize that Silver jumped up that much. I was at my coin shop talking to him, and oh, yeah, I looked at his board and it said 27. I was like, oh my god, flush oh, it. Yeah. That's right, Red Silver. I agree. See you. 
Dude, it had two different days there. I don't know, in the last week, week and a half, where it feels uh -huh. like it went up a dollar a day. 1923 MS64 PCGS, $95 starting bid. What's up, Deborah? How goes it? I'd say, though, the good thing we have going for us now and not during the virus time is at least the premiums are staying low. Yeah, so far. I mean, the worst thing that happened to us last time was they jacked the premiums. I mean, if you're, you were around that time, too, Plumber, like, ASEs were 14 over spot. Oh, that was crazy. It was like the premium was almost as much as the silver. It was nuts. And people were buying it still, you know? Like, Oh, yeah, they weren't stopping And you could tell, all. like, if you went to your coin shop, you would still get a good deal on them if you wanted to sell them. I'm just hoping if, if silver goes up, that's okay, but let's just keep the premiums where they're at. I'm just hoping the premiums don't do what they did last time. Yeah. All right, nobody's on that at 95, huh? Going once, going twice. It's a crazy deal. See you. There's George Campbell. Hey, George, I showed off your $5 note over here. This is it right here. Campbell, that's for you. Coming out to you. It's beautiful. I there sold, you. I'm not going to lie, Spokane. I sold quite a few tubes right. doing that. Yep. I wasn't, uh, wanted to take advantage of it. All right. Here's a 2020 Libertad. $35 starting bid. $35 on a lib? And a dollar capsule. Good God. Tiger Stacker, what's going on? Good to see you, Tiger. I know. Oh, my goodness. Everybody needs that note. Well, I had to show yeah. it, George. You got some currency you want to throw up? Oh, man. I'd have to go through it. I got, <laughs> dude, just this box alone right over here. I don't know if you can see these. Yeah. Some of these are star notes. Here's a Hawaii note. We got beautiful $5 notes. Everybody, make sure you guys check out Tiger Stagger. He's really been pushing to uh, build his channel up. Got some pretty decent videos out. Him and um, Frostbite Coins, they have a, they got a little collaboration going on. Too good. Lots of good information going out that way. So make sure you check them out. Both of them. I've been getting a, I've been building up my currency. I'll tell you the truth. If you went back probably a year ago, the only note I had was from Big Apple, one graded currency. And now I've, I've got quite, quite a nice little currency thing going. Starting anyway. He did, it's Tracy. Something. I saw that. Yeah. Currency is a whole nother world, man. I know. I cannot get into it, no matter I got, what. I even I got the book. I even got the book that Big Apple recommends. If you guys haven't seen it, that's the one that he recommends. The Red Book of Month Paper Money. Mm -hmm. So this has a lot of good information in it. You just get in here and start reading and learning. You know, with money, it's all, about, it's all about the signatures on the bill. There's all kinds. I mean, it's just like I said, it's a whole other world. So much to learn. Oh, no worries, Link. Good to have you. No worries at all, man. Never any pressure to buy anything. We're here to having a good time, really. Dude, I didn't buy anything when I first came into YouTube. I swear to God, for like six months, all I did was watch these streams. Yep. I told my wife, is this real? Like, if I, I buy something, are they really going to shit me out? I hang out in auctions all the time just to chat with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, and I bought my first item, and it came to me in the mail, and I was like a kid in the candy store. I'm like, dude, check it out. I actually got yeah. this. Jags fan, have a good night, buddy. Take care, Jags. Uh, Big love. All right, we are at $35. Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. One of these days, I'll get a, a proper price on those, and I can sell the ones that I have. But Thirty-five bucks, Steve. Great buy. 
I'd buy it for 35. I ain't gonna lie about it. Nice pickup. Very nice pickup. Yeah, I hope nobody ever feels obligated to buy anything ever. No. I just enjoy this. I do it for the enjoyment, obviously. It's fun. I learned a lot, honestly, just by sitting in streams because, honestly, guys, when I first started this, I didn't know anything about Morgans or Peace Dollars or any of this stuff. I mean, you, you kind of still don't. I learned just from watching. I mean, yeah, I know. But <laughs> what I'm saying is I learned from watching. Like, for example, right. I'd sit here and I'd watch you. I'd watch people talk about coins and see the grade. You know, just pick knowledge off of people. Mm -hmm. You want to throw up one of those notes? Dude, no, I'll, I'll uh, let's do uh, something different. Let's do a seated dollar, huh? Seated half. Let's do a buck and go on a seated half dollar. Coin shop hat is a G4. Do a buck and go on that. A little half dollar action. You know what, Forrest? I've had a few people ask me that, but no, definitely not. I'd do a buck and go on that right now. I gotta show okay. I gotta show you guys something. Well, we're bidding on this. I'm gonna just show you something really quick over here, you guys. We're bidding on this coin. But I wanted to show Big Apple and those guys. Look at this beauty that I brought home. Uh Zappa, that's that looks nice. Zaphiel, we do um look at that. Cash app, PayPal. I think Oregon has Venmo. Thing is a beaut. I don't know yet if I even want to sell that one. <laughs> that thing was nice. Oh yeah, it's got full details on it, man. What's up, North Shore? Isn't that nice? I might put it up tonight. I don't know. You know, you Man, get stuff to bring it home. Really nice. You got to put it up now. You showed it. Well, it's kind of what I'm drooling over there. You guys, you go to you, you find all these coins. You love them all, but you can't afford to keep them all. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to let some things go, even though it's painful. <laughs> Can you put a muzzle on one? Big Apple, what did you think of that half dollar? I didn't know if you'd like that or not. What did you think of that? <laughs> <Big Apple. laughs> yeah, it's the same, Zaphiel. Oh, Zaphiel, it's great to see you, my friend. I've seen Zaphiel. Yeah, it's been a while for Zaphiel. Yeah, I used to see him all the time. Um, yeah, Zaphiel, same. Oh, yep. man. Not Empire. Where did I used to always see? I, I've seen I've seen him around. Uh, oh, when I was, no, uh, I used to was, watch uh, back in the day, DOA. Yeah, DOA, and then metal, um, metal merchant, metal merchant. That's right. Yeah, but watch what's DOA. uh, what's uh, what's the other Husky? Name? Yes, Husky. Husky. Yeah, yeah, that's where I that's where I remember him from. There we go. Yep. Man, we need to get you over here rocking out the tunes one of these days, plumber. Yeah. 1854. Oh, half. All right. JJ says loaded up. We're at $13 Let's to Zaphiel. Just beat North Shore at 13. Muscle shells in the house. What the what? Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. <laughs> Link, that would be hilarious to hear. <laughs> no, I think Jeff got sniped. <laughs> Jeff got sniped. You got that. What's up, Ants? What's up, Inglorious? Did, 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 did Jorge get that? Uh, Yep, phony. All right. Got you, my man. Let me tag that. Yeah, so here's uh, here it is again. I'll show it to you, Plumber. Man, I got this. I tell you what, I'm like, dude, that's almost like one you just put away, right? And you got like all the details on that. Yeah, that thing's got some luster on it too, right? Is that cartwheel? Yeah. Uh, Pill up the board. What is going on? I feel like it's got all the details on it. Philip, I will. I'll get a hold of you tomorrow, my friend. I think. Where are you starting at? That? 
but I put O mint mark on it. They didn't have the O. I had to add the O mint mark on this because it is it is an O. Apple says it's cleaned. Mm, might be. You mean like it look whizzed? I mean, if I was <laughs> if I was uh, if I was gonna put this up. Yeah, you know what? I kind of see it too. But it's still a great looking coin for that age. The, most of those that age are, are always cleaned, right? If I had to put this up, dude, I'd start at a hundred bucks. I'd have to start that at a hundred if we ran that. No, it has an O mint mark on it. It has a Philly, but there's an O mint mark right there, right above the F. Link, I I started a trade dollar um, dance go book, and then I quickly slowed down. Just to say the least. Because I mean, it's so got fun. it's got the full shield, the full liberty on it. I mean, look at the back of this thing. No, it's a great looking coin. It's just Jesus. It's got all the feather details on it. Yeah. I mean, you see the ones that are like beat up or missing half a wing, and they want like seventy five on them, right? So <laughs> I know all those numbers. But yeah, I started collecting trade dollars, but wow. Wow. To get ones that are even decent looking, you're I mean you're automatically two, three hundred bucks. There's actually one before the trade dollar. Is it called the Liberty Dollar? Muscle shells in. Oh, Tiger beat about a hundred bucks. I had one of those at one time. Jeffrey's at 105. I really <laughs> like the trade dollar though. Those are more like a trophy wife link. It's a great looking coin. Whiz cleaned or not, that is a beautiful coin. Yeah, I mean, I like it has all the details on it. We're big 105 with Jeffrey Jackson. Big, you know, Big Apple, he could be lurking in the trees out there like he does. <laughs> yeah. Well, the board said seated dollars before the trade dollars. Seated dollars were before the trade dollars. Okay, seated dollars. <laughs> Well, it's the coin shop. You got to take that Zephyl with the greatest song. Yeah, already reads that Zephyl coming. <laughs> it's coming from the LC. You guys know my handwriting. You know, I don't even write like that. My handwriting is atrocious. All right. We are all in fair warning. Jeffrey Jackson, 105. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, Jeff. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Tigers at one ten. Tigers are all right. We are sold, folks. Didn't need it. I think Tiger got it for one cent. Yep. Nice pickup, Tiger. Nice pickup, my friend. That is a very nice looking coin for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Absolutely. one of those ones that's a hard one like to get rid of. You know what I mean? Like you get those. I have a beautiful. I'll have to show you guys. I'll have to put. I have a really beautiful. Um. Where's that? Hold on. It might be in this book over here. These other slabs right here. I'll tell you guys, if you have it, this is a really beautiful one that I have right here. Plumber. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. You running it? No, no, no. Run it. No, 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 no. Run no. it. Go, go. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If anybody wants to bid on these, these are either going to get sold or they're going to go in the melter and i'm going to start them at a buck jeffrey yours is, is going to look way better than this i can't send them out for somebody that want to go if you just look at this side it's beautiful but they're about a little more than a half ounce and the drop discount there but if anybody wants them before i melt them again feel free to bid at a dollar and we'll leave it at that i don't care what price you get it at Yes, it is three nines fine silver. Wow! Did you just did you just make that plumber? Is that what you're saying? You just made those? Yeah, I was making. I was earlier. I'm just lost my. Uh, I lost the skill, man. I got to do a bunch more to make get them right again. 
there's there's four of them down there. Uh, three of them are the exact same. The other one has the little ratchet socket end. Hour and a half ounce. That is an expensive coin, Link. But man, that thing probably looked beautiful. <laughs> the 10 millimeter. The ever elusive. Dude, if I put that slab up, I'd have to start that. Yeah, right, Jeffrey. That is not. That's a big boy coin right there. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Oh, man. <laughs> the 10 millimeters always, it's always gone somewhere. Where's that? Man, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Assess, Astes, Axtes. What's going on? Oh, they were going to the fire. Yeah, I will definitely get better at making these wrenches. I promise you that. That's why these, I don't care how much they sell for. Even though there's still waste involved and all that good stuff, but... Either I melt them or I sell them. I don't really care. All right, twelve dollars to Zaphael. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. All right, we are sold. Yeah, my COAs come on the, a sticker. I just write it on the sticker. All right, where are we at? Uh, 18 to Tiger Stacker. So, uh, I mean, you guys can wait for better ones if you want, but you can get these on the cheap. The other ones I won't sell for a dollar. Uh, Brock, you can have one. DK, Spokane, and Zafael. You guys can all have one at $18 if you want. Wow. It's, he's looking you guys up. So just put yes or bin or whatever you want to put in the chat. If I can write this down. But uh, Tiger, you definitely got one. DK, Brock. Anyone need a key date quarter? One more. Who else got that? Zafael, that's right. Herman Ortiz. Good to see you, my friend. Big hugs What's out up, to you, Herman. Herman. I forgot to say hi. All right, those are yours. All right, we're going to throw it up. Throw up that bad boy. Oh shoot! Yeah, All right. Herman, I know. Th those look. Those are not. Are we ready for a big boy? We want a party. You guys, right this down. is this is new. This was newly graded. It has the PCGS shield on it, which means the photos. When you look up this coin, there's photos on the actual bust half. Scans at four twenty five. Scans at four twenty five. We will open the bid up at three fifty. 1838. Uh, it's a PCGS 45. Scans at 425. We're going to open the bid at 350. Robert Caldwell, member for 34 months. Holy smokes. Good to see you, Robert. Robert, what is up, man? Thank you again for your support. I will ship this with Priority Box and uh, uh, what I want to say, signature. I will ship this out with the signature for you guys. Robert, see this guy. Hang on one second, Oregon. I gotta just gotta oh, do this for you, Robert. Mr. So Jack, I'm gonna. It, this was 3D printed for me, Robert. I'm gonna make you a silver one, just so you you know. 
I know you need these a lot, so that's why. My man Jags is in there. And we don't I mean we don't have to wait long on this one. Um John, we can run this this, you know, pretty quick. It is what it is. We don't have to uh we can we can speed this one up. <laughs> Robert. Jeffrey's in at 360. Scans at 425, you guys, with PCGS. 425 right now. I do have Cash App. It's just dollar sign Oregon Stacker, just like it sounds. Uh, PayPal as well. I, I ain't plumber. You got my, let's see here. You got my PayPal's already on the bottom of the screen. My first last name, 975 at Outlook.com. Most of you guys know me. Um, if I have any new bidders, I will drop my email in the chat. I got you, um, Jorge. It should be at the bottom of the screen. Everybody I should have. Everyone I should have. Who did I have? Oh, yeah, that was Jorge. So we're good. Jenny, sweetheart. Good to see you, Jenny. Good to see you, Jenny, sweetheart. Big hugs. Out to you. Seager, what's going on? Man, 360 going twice to Jeffrey Jackson. What's up, Frostbite? How's it going? This is a tough one here to let go, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, half dollar here. Already graded for you. All ready to go. We're at 360 right now. 360. There you guys go. This is a Frostbite. Oops, wrong one. Frostbite Coins is on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So Let's go. There you go. There's Frostbite. Let me get Tiger Stacker. I don't know about your coin shop, Plumber. Like, my LC always has the Morgans, but when it comes to, like, cat busts, it's, like, hit and miss, man. He's you No, know, actually, my coin shop has a lot of them. They're just very... Some. I mean, most of them are really low grades, and I've... Yeah. You know, but whenever he gets the graded ones, I always try to put them up there. Here's Tiger Stacker's uh, yeah, link exactly. right there. Frostbite's on his way to 2K, so make, definitely check him out. Where are we at here? We're ready let's to roll it. Going. Yeah, let's get it going. We got, ty we got uh, 360 to Jeffrey Jackson. Last call. That's a beautiful coin right there. Yeah, it is. It is. Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Uh, Jeffrey at 360. Forrest out of nowhere, 365. What? Wow, Forrest. Oh, did Jags get in there? Yeah, he's just missed it. Ja I'm telling you what, Jags is going to be pounding the desk over there, pissed. Nobody right snipe, now. snipe. Jags is, I mean, uh, Jags is pissed. I know Jags is upset about that miss snipage. That was a good battle, though, guys. You can't get upset about it, though, Jags. You gave it a good battle. Good battle there, Jeffrey. Forrest, congratulations. That'll go nice with your German coins. What a great pickup on that. Like I said, that scan at 425, Forrest. It's 425 on the scan. That's a nice pickup. Yeah. That's Ooh, a good one. That's Both a short. big boy coin right there. We ain't playing tonight. All right, we'll bring it down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a Maple Leaf one ounce. I believe this is 2020. Yes, we'll do a $25 starting bid or, or a Tiger Stagger with a $5 super chat. Oregon to Gleason seated to Frosty. Frostbite, the tiger get a coin from you? Oh my god, yeah, he got the coin. That's that nice seated for $110. Oh, wow. Holy cow, you got it, man. I will uh I'll have a postcard on there. And uh 
if you can if you can see i'll send out a postcard and i'll have your name on the back of that and everything uh advising you gifted that to him tiger start pulling out right now i know jeffrey i i try my best but i don't understand why it, it is see that frosty on. see that frosty i will get better jeffrey i will get better 53 peeps in the house make sure you like share and subscribe oregon stacker goes live tomorrow night on his channel so make sure you check him out as well Frosty. muscle shells in at 30 bucks that was a very kind gift tiger yeah let me get uh it's gonna be the 1860 oh half dollar One time, 30 bucks. Which coin was that, Oregon? You want to show that? Yeah, right oh, here. Oh, that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he just gifted that to Frosty, wow. you guys. Look at the back, at the back nice. of this. I don't know if you guys remember. We just showed it a little bit ago, but it has full details on it. Full details. That's cool. All right, here we go. 30 bucks on the 2020 Maple Leaf. Dude, pay attention. Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. <laughs> All right, we are sold. These will be shipped out on Monday. 31, 31, 31. You know what? I have four of them available. You guys can have them at 31 bucks if you want. Uh, Deep Stacker, you won that one. So, Steve and Tiger, you guys can have one at $31 if you want. Or Deep Stacker could take more than one. Ben, Steve says. All right, Tiger, did you want one at 31? Yes or no? All right, you got it. That's a great price on those. Oh, now that I've broke it. Yeah, you gave it a good fight, my friend. Good fight. Big, big love, Jags. Big love. All right, let's throw out one of these A marks. I actually got most of these, a lot of these from you, Oregon. A marks? Yeah. Yeah, we might not see you get some. I try and grab them. They're beautiful bars. $25 starting bid. You really hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> one ounce A mark. I hope you don't want me to replace those for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. Those are vintage bars, you guys. Don't sleep on those. My God, those go for a very high premium. Yes. Jump on those. That's why I mean I only sell like one at a time though, because I do love them. Yeah, I know that's I the got, one. That's I realized I had too many. <laughs> that's one thing nice about like doing the auctions and stuff like when you're moving through product you would never if you if i never sold anything i would never handle probably 90 percent of the stuff that i handle so That's you get to I... handle all these <laughs> old coins cool yes. coins you know you get to actually hold them handle them look at them enjoy them for a little bit you know I know. And that's in the beginning, like, oh my God, the Morgans. I had so many of the doubles and triples and quadruples. Oh, yeah. It just got ridiculous. You never can have too much silver, Link. That's uh, you the know, thing, though. Like, when I first. Do you know who Silver Joker is on YouTube? Oh, yeah. 
I would sit there and watch. I would listen about his life, his history, watch all his videos and how he stacks. And when I first got on YouTube, I thought that's the what I need to do. But you just got to. I don't think there's any right or wrong way how to do it. I mean, I've talked to people, you guys, who love to stack premium because they think everything else is boring. So that's what they like to do. Uh, yeah. Right. Some people love Morgan dollars, even though they have a higher premium, but that's what they love to do. I don't think there's really a right or wrong way on how you do it. In fact, no. being in this but, game now for four hang years. On, let me run this and then we'll get back oh, to the conversation. Sorry, yeah. I think this is a great conversation. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. They're at 32, 33, Brock. I think Brock just over DK. DK count. Oh, DK. Oh, no, Spokane. Spokane in there at 34, Plumber. Spokane got the first one. What a fight. All right, I have three of them for sale, $34, which That's is. That's a great pickup on Probably this. less than what I paid for most of them. Yeah, I mean, secondary market, those are easily going for like 45. You did really well. Whoever's getting those, that did, Spokane did really well on those. So yeah, uh, I got two other. Well, I got three others. We'll just do three. Um, Spokane, you got the first one. So, Robert DK. I love Silver Joker. Uh, Muscle but, Shell or Zaphael. If you want one at 34, put Ben 34. So Unless Spokane wants more than one. You know, I could talk about this all night, but getting into that conversation, Plumber, the one thing nice about your Morgan, it doesn't matter what the silver price does. It really doesn't at the end of the day. Yeah. It could be 18 bucks an ounce or it could be 30 bucks an ounce. That Morgan dollar is always going to carry you a premium. Exactly. Like Jeff Davis said. And I, I have examples like with my son, you know, or like the new, remember when the Spider-Man came out? You remember the Marvel Spider-Man? Like, if you could go back in time, wouldn't you buy, like, tubes of that stuff and hold on to it? Because you would have made a oh, killing God, on it. Oh, God, yeah. Zafael, you're selling for over 100 bucks. What, what do you, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't really think there's any right or wrong way to do it. It's, it's like Jeff Davis said, like, however you want to do it, but... Do you know, it. I started out as a stacker, but I quickly became a collector. And I'll be honest with you, I'm glad that I started as a collector because, or a stacker, because like when I had, we went on our, um, our cruise, you know, we needed some extra cash. So I just went yeah. and passed in a bunch of my silver bars, like a lot of them. And then when we went back to, uh, to get married, I did the same thing again. It was just like, it was so liquid very fast. I walk into my coin shop. Yeah. I lost a little bit of money, but that was like a huge savings account for me right there where I didn't That's... have to go anywhere else to pull money from. I just walk in there I, into my safe, grab yeah. that, go to my coin shop. And there you go. It's almost like, I feel like it's almost a, it could be a better way to save for a lot of folks because it's so hard to spend it. Right. Like, Robert, I got like, one for you at 34, and DK, you get one at 34. It's not like you can just go swipe your card or go to an ATM. You physically would have to take that and go through the pain of selling that over the counter to someone. Know you're getting whacked over the head, right? Mm -hmm. I, I just think there's something to that. So I, I and, think it helps you save. Yeah, and I trust my coin shop, too. And he did. Like, he even showed me he paid more. Obviously, I have a great relationship with my coin shop. You know, I... He's yeah. pretty much the only person I get my stuff from, but and he gave me way more than what he normally would pay, you know, because what I do for him and you know, so he figured I mean, he'd you know hook me up he, as well. But he'll he, turn around and make money off of it, so it's not you know. It's, it's like the, the way official. silver the way silver Joker would stack. He'd buy you know he'd go for weight, you know, ninety percent bars like the weight. That's fun, but I mean for me personally, like just stacking ninety percent. I would get bored of that really quickly. Very true, North Shore. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, North Shore made a, a great How many benches can you have? How many walkers can you have? Oh, my God. 
like my Morgan collection, I would never walk into my coin shop and say, here, I want to sell all these because I would never get. You would get whacked uh, over the head. Yeah, exactly. Even, even that I trust my coin shop, you know, like, but he has to make money too. And he's got to sit on that for a while, but to walk in there with, you know, 20 silver bars or five silver bars, whatever you're going in there with, it's very easy, you know, all right, you'll lose a few bucks here and there, but that's where the stacking portion of my collection slash stack very it came in very handy you know even with my gold i had a lot of just random very cheap gold and then i have my higher end gold that just sits there and i would probably yeah. never <laughs> unless gold goes up a little bit more i'm not ever really like gonna tats, as yeah, an example. yeah i'll never be able to sell that gold and get my premium back no but that i love that stuff so i don't really yeah. want to sell it you know so I, you know, it's just JJ. I'm sorry, man. I didn't even open that package yet. <laughs> I'm horrible. Zaphiel said really orchids are junk silver. I mean, I mean, if you go to like an LC and you just go to, I mean, no, they give you a little. Don't they give you a little more than melt on? Uh, I don't know. Did, I'm trying to think on mine. I think they actually they price it differently <laughs> at my LCS Morgan's. A common date Morgan goes for more than just what ninety percent would go for. So. Even though it's ninety percent, I would say it's treated myself anyway. I would say mm -hmm. it's treated mm -hmm. differently. Like when you go to the coin shops, they treat it differently. Uh, yeah, and again, they have to make money, so you, you got to realize that you're not going to get what you paid for. Like my Morgan yeah. collection, unless I sold it to a, another collector, I'm not going to get what it's worth. You know, but I don't plan on selling it. That's something I love, and it's it's yeah. always going to sit there. Oh yeah, it has a great history. Keep going, plumber. All right. We'll throw up a 2021 Britannia. This has got some milking. Lots of milking going on with it. $25 starting bid. Milking? Where the hell's the milking at? I didn't see any milk on I'll that. The, I'll open there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't care. Now, now this is just me, plumber. That That's not like it doesn't have any numismatic value behind it, right? You're not going to harm that thing by dipping that. Yeah, no. I mean, well, if, if I was buying really something like, like that, I'd probably just, I mean, I don't dip coins, but if I was, I'd, I mean, <laughs> I'm lazy. I probably would, though, because you're not going to harm the value of that. Yeah, Robert. Can I block a blue person for saying that? I'm not sure. <laughs> all right 28 to zaphiel but yeah it was a great and before like i like to buy things and you know whatever i need at the time or one at the time i just buy it but then i when i got into silver and gold that's what i that was my whatever i need or whatever i want to buy you know i'd go out and buy some silver or i'd go out and buy a nice morgan before you run this, blowing it, you know. You know what I used to always get mad about and get all kinds of milk on was the Canadian stuff, man. I I had hell of luck with Canadian coins. Yeah. Canadian silver. Now they got the new milk shield, I think they call it on there. But I milk mean, shield. Yeah, they have like they call it the milk shield or the new technology is supposed to. I don't know. It's supposed to help it from not milking up. <laughs> Probably <laughs> yeah, get so many complaints. No, oh, like the Canadian men had a huge problem with milk spotting. For yeah, a that's where I and mean. They, I, they fixed it and they didn't, but you know, I don't know, whatever. It's still an ounce of silver, any way you look at it. Tasty of goodness. All right, here we go. Zephael, $28. JJ says, shut up and run it. Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. That is so funny. That, that, fire, that is awesome. Oh, I love maple uh, too. I funny. just had bad luck with them. <laughs> Deep stacker, $29. Nice pickup. I will say this, though. I have never, I don't think I've ever owned a Libertad that's had a milk spot on it. And that's not even a joke. Really, seriously. Yeah. Have you ever owned a Libertad with a milk spot on it? Uh, yeah. You have? 
I think so. I might even have one. If I find it, I'll show it next time. I had luck on that. I'm not going to look for it, no. Yeah. But yeah, I, I believe I have. I have a more, yeah, it's got one. But you know, your eyeballs don't really see that because they go to other places, right? Is that what you're trying to say, is that bio? All right, we're at 10.30 already. What do you got left, Oregon? Dude, I, I want to run this thing, man. I, I this this Morgan has a little bit of, of rainbow. I mean, not rainbow, but tone and starting on it. Do you see down in here? Look, look on the back side. It's just it's got a little bit up in this corner. Just a oh, little yeah. bit, yeah. just yeah. a little tiny bit starting. A little bit there. of blue, bluish. Yeah, it's got some really nice details on it. Buck and go it. Uh oh. Hell yeah, dude. Let them battle it out. It's got it starting here. And it's funny, right? On the back of it. Look at that. Right up in there. That, North Shore, that's very true, too. Because I don't... Most people don't have milk spotting with certain coins. But then you'll see them. So it's got to have something to do with environment. In the end. Other than the straight up maples. Which everybody knows that the Canadian Mint had... Lots of issues with uh, milk spotting. You know, I, Link, I think the biggest thing on, I agree with you, it's already graded, but you just got to be careful because sometimes people can pay way too much for a slab coin too. You know what I mean? You just, you just got to be, you just got to be smart. Know what you're buying, really. You know? Yeah, exactly. If you I like don't... a certain... If you like a certain coin, just become a semi guru in it. You know, know, know as much as you can about it. I don't send coins in, but there's people out there that buy raw Morgans and they send them in for grade and they make money doing that. You know, just sending <laughs> stuff in. <laughs> in my opinion, Red Silver, I love it because I, I love toning. I love all natural toning that. Obviously, nothing's like all natural, I guess you could say. But if something sits in a book and it gets toning because of that, I love it. And you, you can tell the difference, too. Oh, that would be nice. A type set. That'd be challenging. 35 to Phony. Phony's at 35. That's going to be a nice pickup for you, Phony Bitter, for $35. His name's Phony. JJ, phony. Phony. Got a little bit of toning starting on it. A little bit of toning. Muscle shells in there, thirty-six dollars. Yeah, it's a nice one. It is a good deal. Oh yeah. Oh, you like it nice yeah. and bright white. Well, good luck, Red Silver. You'd have to take them out and like put them in a capsule or something. Or you know what? If you have a safe, you can get those um those little what do they call those the not the dehumidifiers, but they suck up the moisture. I got a couple in my safe too, but I can't remember the name of them. They do work. You just got to recharge them. Oh, uh, hurry, muscle, hurry! But you can stop the toning if you want. Yeah, there's it's there's people out there that love toning, and then there's people out there that don't like toning. I would say it's just like there's some people there's people that love Morgans and there's some people that don't love Morgans. <laughs> no, all right. All in fair warning, we have thirty nine dollars. The phony. Good luck, dude. Pay attention. <laughs> don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Silver here out of nowhere with that All sneaky right, snake bitch. All right, we are so... Ooh, Tiger. Tiger got in on the fight. I think Tiger might have snuck in there. I see Tiger on uh, StreamYard, which you got on the YouTube side. You miss? Uh, so the, nope, Tiger. Well, I can refresh real quick. Ooh. Yeah, refresh that. See what it shows. 
No, oh, you, got it, you got it. You got it. You got it. Silver forty-two dollars. Silver hair, just below, just below the sold there, Tiger. Silver hair seeker. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, silver hair seeker just missed on that. Nice pickup, silver hair seeker. All right, I got a couple more that I'm going to put up here. Here's a nice juicy one. 1883 MS64 Carson City. This is a GSA that was taken out and slabbed. We'll start that at 420. For you scanners, it's 475. That's beautiful, man. This is a little bit of an older holder. Blue, but the light blue. Beautiful coin, though. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's Thank gorgeous. you, Steve. <laughs> Somebody had to say it, JJ. I was waiting for it. I was going to go 425, but I figured I'd say 420. 1883 Muscle Shell, Carson City. 420. <laughs> go, sit in the, go sit in the corner, Silver Hair Seeker. Uh oh, I'm getting summoned. Uh oh. She's giving you the summons. <laughs> At least she doesn't have a bell, you know. It's like, a, it's oh, yeah. Good. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Nobody, oh, well, good lord, nobody wants that. All right, that's a nice, beautiful, beautiful CC. Where's Big Apple at? Sleep 420 is a steal. Sided, he says. All right, that's okay. How about this one? You guys want that? Oh my god, what are you gonna do with that one? I'm not selling it, I'm just showing it. You want me to uh I'll give you 200 for it right now. No, Tracy, don't and hell no. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna hit you one of these days. You're not thinking, you're thinking about the wife and all your phones uh, going uh, off uh, and all right, and be like, up. How about a uh about a yeah, fucking quarter, dude. <laughs> eBay quarter, 1932D quarter. Cute. What should I? What should I do with that? What should I do with that key date quarter, Spokane? Yeah. Sounds like Spokane. a buck and go to me. Spokane says I should buck and go. Well, let's buck and go it. Heck with it. Let's buck and go that key date. We're gonna buck and get it. Only four hundred some thousand mini. I think even in a, a G four, it's like a hundred bucks. We're gonna buck and go it though. What the heck? We're having fun tonight. Are right, you gonna have to extend this one for a second? I'll be right back. Buck and go on a key date quarter. Anyone doing a quarter book? Here you go. Nineteen thirty two D. Only four hundred and some thousand mini. Get your books out, guys. Look, know what you're looking at here. Key date alert. Key date alert. That's correct, Mustang. We got a key date alert. Right from the coin shop. 32D. This is where the hammer comes out and just whacks me over the head. It's all good. Yeah. That's right. I have put a couple of these up. They're spendy, man. Deep stackers at 30 right now. Deep stackers at 30. Oh my goodness, Sapphire. I couldn't even find. I think uh DNS, my LC might have had two or three of each one. That is it. Maybe not even that many. They are hard to come by, and they've been there for a while. 
They just don't come in over the door. There's the minage right there. I know it's low. All right. Where are we at? Link's at, at $436.800. Brock's at 31 Yeah, that's a steal right now with Brock. He's like, I'm coming in hot. Ben Stacking's in on the action. My man Ben, he knows. What's they're, up, Ben Stacking? They're starting to look this up, this date, what we're talking about. They're, they're like going, oh, my God. Ben's at 35. All in we fair warning. Lots of runway here. Lots and lots of runway on this baby. All right. Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Oh man, here comes the fighting. They're checking it. Oh, Tracy. I think Tracy was the first one with the 45, you guys. God, that's a great pickup, Tracy. Great for a book. If you're doing a, if you're starting a quarter book, here you go. He did alert. Oh, look at all that snipages. Oh, yeah. I knew it was going to be a fight. I was hoping anyway. I'm like, oh my god, that goes for thirty dollars. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's still a steal, though. Indeed, Ben. That's still a steal. But forty five is a lot better than thirty. <laughs> that was a great pickup. Great pickup. Oh my goodness. Plumber, can I do a quick Ben? Do it up, man. Let's. I just gonna give someone a steal on this. If someone actually, can you do a couple of them? Yeah, I can, go, I can go help her out real quick. All okay, right. I got an 1857 Flying Eagle. These are always a little bit dark. Very dark obverse. I'm just going to bend this for $15 if there's any interest. We'll do a bin 15. B-I-N 15 on a Flying Eagle 1857. Forest. Forest bends that. About some weight. I got this Engelhart bar sitting over here. Forrest, I think Forrest got the first bit in there. Forrest had the first bin on that. Uh, these are just bins, you guys. So you just fire away. Uh, 10 ounce Engelhart bar with the three back. Uh, what would be a fire deal on this? What spot right now? 27 and change. I would bin that tonight for $300. B-I-N 300. I don't think you can beat that. B-I-N 300 on an Engelhart bar. Phony bidder, you want to bin that? 300, I got you. Let me write these down a second. Hold on. Phony's going to take the bar. Great pickup. Uh, let me write this down. Got that. Got that. So, Phony, I got you at 300 on that. Yeah, that's a great pickup on that bar. I'm going to keep a couple of them. I was able to get several of those. Um, let's do, uh, I already binned out the CC out in front of my desk. Let's do a bin on a peace dollar. I don't think we put a peace dollar up. Oregon stacker. Oh, Tiger got it first. Tiger got the first bin on that. Hold on. Oh, Tiger stacker did have the first bin. My apologies. My apologies. Tiger got that phony. Right below muscle shell. Copy that, you guys. Thank you for getting that for me. Tiger Stacker, congratulations. You got the Engelhart bar, my friends. Very nice. Pick. I got it. Uh, Tiger.
Yeah, it was uh Tiger had the first bin up there, phony. Just below uh muscle shell. He had the bin in there. I'll have Plumber show it. Oh, he's gonna pull it up now. Just below muscle shell. Yeah, you might have to refresh. It might show you first. But uh I'm sorry I missed that. It was uh how far back Tiger is it? Stack. Yeah, sorry about that, phony. Just just missed it on that one. Uh, I'll do another bin. 1935S piece dollar better date. I bin that for thirty five dollars tonight for someone. Bin thirty five. Thirty five bin. Silver Knight gonna take that. Where'd my other pin go. Just lost it. There it is. I have Silver Knight, Silver Knight on that one. Silver Knight with the 35. Uh, that's funny. 1935S on a 35 bin. Nice snag. Okay, we got. Let me just scroll up here for a second. It's all good, Tiger. You were in there first. Hit forest on this one. Flying Eagle. Yep, five dollar ship, Silver Knight. Blummer, did you want to put up anything or all right? I got um two higher end items that I'll throw up real quick. Go for it. But we don't have to stay on them long. Here's an 1885 Carson City MS64. It's still got the plastic on it. That's the bubble stuff that you see there. This is 1100. <laughs> Tiger. No. And then I have this set here. It comes with everything. All the boxes. A 10 ounce 50 kill. It's got some toning going on with it. I need 400 for that. That's nice. Damn, that's sick. Yeah. Still got all the original boxes that come with it. Of oh, the MS64 muscle show. Those are the two that I have left that I would probably sell. MS64 and the 60 or the 85. And if you're really interested in that 65, I might be able to do a better deal if you're a frequent flyer but that's all i got all right you want me to uh you want me to go two more plumber do what you want to do man and call up I'll, I'll be done i'll, I'll put up uh <laughs> first year we ran a first year Next time. let's do uh Let's put up this this one they said. This is a nice one. Let's do a nice yeah. one. All right. Yeah, Link. <laughs> 1887. They have it as a 55. Let's do a last auction on this. Let's buck and go it. Do my last item on that. Give them another nice Morgan dollar. You know what? I have another one of these that have all... Uh, one ounce is in it. I just can't find. I I don't want to have it out here. Otherwise, I would have put it up. Do a buck and go. Buck and go it. Ah. Again, you guys, I'll have these items shipped out on Monday. Muscle shell. I would do that. Yeah. Yep. Just email me if you're interested. We got 25 to Spokane, 25 to Spokane. 
Ben in at 33. Ben stacking in at 33. Beautiful Morgan here. Nice cart wheeling. Nice details. LC called it a 55, Ben. Phony at 34. Phony it's got some 34. nice luster to it. Oh, it does. Yeah. What year is it? I tried to pick out some nice ones. This is an 1887. No problem, Muscle Show. Goes on the front and back. Zephiel wants the gold, Plumber. He wants the gold. Yeah, you know, I didn't uh No gold tonight for me. Ben stacking at 35. Next week, though, I didn't. Uh, the I went to my coin shop, but it was kind of late when I got there, and it takes me a good hour to hour or two to go through everything and for him to price everything up. So, oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Steve Lapointe. Thanks, Steve. Good to have you here, buddy. So you're gonna wait till gold hits three thousand next week and then bring it out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so make sure you guys check out uh, Coin Crew tomorrow at noon. Then you got Raven Hawk Coins at like six or seven. Then you got Oregon Stacker right after that. Coin Crew should have the gold over there tomorrow. Yeah, Coin Crew's always got a nice lineup. He's got the LCS over there. He'll always have a lot of gold. 2004 Kook. You got it, Tracy. Seven over six. Uh... I don't see nah. it. I don't see it. They're usually pretty good at that, too. Like, when I get something from the coin shop, I mean, they do miss things, but... Link, have a good night. Try to... Thanks try for to hanging out. Good night, Link. Big hugs. All right, night at 36. Are we ready to run this thing? Run this, baby. Good luck, All night. Right. Good luck, everybody. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> Don't make me come down there. I'll dump your skull. Have a good night, Frosty. Big hugs, my friend. All right, we sold it, folks. Uh, deep stacker. I... Mm. Nice. Why don't you email me? Um, I think I shipped you, but I can't be 100%. I think, I think Knight got that Silver Knight 45. Oh, no, Ben Stacking had 45. Yeah, Ben Stacking with the first 45. Ben got it. Frostbite, have a good night. Congratulations, Ben. I got you. <laughs> <Red Silver. laughs> I'm good, plumber. I'm, I'm good, man. Tag, I'm gonna tag Ben on that. Keep these for another day. Jeffrey, plumber, have a good night. Ben so, Stagger. Thank you so much for letting me come up and join you tonight. Absolutely. You know what? Next week, I think I'm gonna do a live pour slash auction type deal. So Ooh, I remember those days. Those were fun. It could be more pouring than uh, Doctor Who. What's going on? So it'll be more of me pouring than I'll be selling, but uh, Oregon's going to be up there. And if Big Apple feels better, him too. So that'd be a lot of fun, man. I miss those poor party days. We don't yeah, love to do I miss that. doing that too. I miss the fighter jets, plumber. You need to do a fighter jet. Uh, exactly. All right, Congrats, Mark, Ben, on that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do some more of that stuff once I, I'm going to. I'm going to hone it in all uh, week. I'll be pouring a lot of stuff and remelting probably 90% of it. But uh, it takes a while to get it back. I didn't realize how much I suck right now. <laughs> Forrest, congrats on the big wins, Forrest. I will have all I will have you shipped out on Monday, my friend. <laughs> very possible, Dave. Very possible. All right. So, uh, I heard that Oregon is going to give a do a, a gold giveaway. Is that what you said? You know what?